Hi there, I'm Jill Finley of Jalili Studio, and I'm here in the Riley Blake Studios telling you about my new book, Quilted Hugs. Now there's another video that I have filmed that shows all the quilts in the, in the book. There's 18 projects, and if you want to view all of those, go visit that other film. And in this short little video, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks and a few add-on projects. So let me set this aside, and we'll start with this one. Um, one of the projects in the book is called Toy Parade, and it's got some applique on it. And so I've just taken that block and done a little applique and framed it for like a little nursery picture. It's so cute and such an easy way to get some artwork to go in the nursery. And you can do it to coordinate uh, your quilt, or you can do it in something different. Now I will point out, you'll notice that the little elephant is facing a different way, and that depends on which applique method that you use. So, um, and it, it won't affect it either way because there's nothing like letters or anything that specific, specifically needs to be turned a certain direction. So that's one fun little project. And you can use any of the appliques that are in the, in the book. There's a, lots of, uh, a lot of really cute appliques that could be used in that way. Let me set this aside. And now this quilt um, from the book is called Whirly Giggles, and it uses a Whirly Gig block. And I just want to show you a little tip and trick on this. Um, when you're making a Whirly Gig block, you'll notice, like for instance right here, that you've got eight points that meet in the center, and it, it means a lot of bulk when you're pressing that seam. So it's nice to be able to, I've got a block here that I've pieced, so I'm sh gonna, going to show you the final seam. When you're ready to press that seam, instead of pressing it to one side, it's nice to be able to just um, split your seam. And I just slide my fingers right into the seam allowance there and sp split the seam open. And you can see, there we go, that that will lay flatter because it, the bulk isn't all going one direction. So because I've split that, you can see that I've got a tiny little pinwheel right there, and it echoes the pinwheel that's on the front of the block. That's a fun way to do, uh, to get some extra bulk out of that, and that really works well. Um, I also use this block on another project I'll show you in a second, but before I do, this is just a little pill pillowcase um, that I made using the um, fabric from the On the Wind collection. And there's lots of pillowcase tutorials out there. I've just added a little bling here with some prairie points that gives the pillowcase a little bit of dimension. So that's uh, a fun little extra project. And then I've got this cute little tote bag here. And this little, this little tote bag, isn't that great? I've used, you can see the Whirly Gig block here on the pockets. And um, this is a great little tote that you can just have the grandkids stuff all their stuff in and there you go. And this is a, um, I pulled the, the block pattern out of the book, but the pattern to make the tote itself is a free pattern that's on my website. You can just download it. It's got really good instructions and you could whip that up. I did this uh, yesterday and it just came together so quickly. And what's fun is it's got all these pockets all the way around. You could do it with any of the blocks in the book which would really add a lot of dimension to it. So remember, Quilted Hugs from Riley Blake and the On the Wind fabric which is a, a companion to the book. If you want to know more about me, visit my website, jalilystudio.com, and be sure to follow me on social media, at Jalilystudio on Facebook and Instagram.